Welcome to the Steve Driscoll Show. I'm currently waiting for my co-host, Steve Driscoll. Hello? Hi. Ready? I'm ready. Sounds good? Let's do it. Are we loud? Are we loud and good? Yeah, I think it sounds great. Let's get this bread. Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody. Salute. Salute. We're back. Wow. Oh. All surprised right. I knew that song? I was. I was a little surprised. Welcome back, guys. Welcome, Welcome. back, Pilkey. We were uh, we were out last week. Yeah. Took a one-week break. Pilkey uh, took a trip to New Hampshire. Yeah. But first, you know what? I th- first time really visiting there. Yeah. I mean, I, feel, I think we kind of needed it. It was like a lot of, we were like, you know, during quarantine, you don't venture out that much. Yeah. And we were kind of just going... And like, I don't know. I don't think like no. Last episode wasn't like brutal. I think we had good moments, but you know we we're losing like a little bit of the the energy. And so I think like a one week break and like coming right back in is it's pretty nice. It it is tough when you live like together because we talk about so much stuff like off camera. Yeah, just like normal comes up in conversation. Exactly. So things and it's like it's it's it, it's weirder if you just don't talk when you're. Yeah, it's like, all around. right. You can't avoid conversation. I'll see you Thursday. But you don't want to run out of things to say. Exactly. So like having like a, you know, the week off from the podcast, it, it made it helped us uh, build up our topics bank, more things to talk about. And also like we were going viral on TikToks and we kind of like, I feel like we kind of know like, okay, this topic we can go viral with for sure. Yeah. So he, like we like, at least I was getting like, a little stuck in like the, all right, topics for that, that can like go viral and shit like that. When in reality, like what what's got us going in the first place was talking about sh- just shit that we thought was cool. Just bullshitting. Liked. Exactly. And then it just happened to work. But like last night, we posted a, a TikTok of say, both saying that we wouldn't marry girls who vaped, vaporized. Addicted to smoke. Addicted to smoking the vape. Yeah. Like always picking up the vape and, you know, just that person who's always sucking on their jewel. Like I wouldn't want to marry that person. And we got a lot of hate. We got roasted. Roasted. People, the, people were making fun of us, like basically, like, oh, they, these kids are very uncool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they fully understood the the question. We got some comments. People were like, "These guys are probably really fun at parties," which I appreciated. No, they, but they didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> you know no. what? I took it as a compliment. Yeah. So the, I there was like six people who said these are grown ass men. Yeah, I, I took that as a compliment. Maybe we're, they were dis- we're men. Some people were saying we're out of touch. How are we out of touch to say that vaping? We I wouldn't want to marry. We someone hang who out vapes. with a lot of people who vape. Yeah, I'm friends with them. I vaped before. I've definitely hit the jewel. I've hit a vape. But people were like, "There's a difference between being addicted, like fully addicted, and then just doing it." And I'm sure a lot of these younger kids are like, "Oh, he's addicted because he's always doing it." But they could stop whenever they wanted. I guarantee it. I mean, it depends how often they're doing it. Like the people that I know that are always ripping it, who rip it every day. I don't. I think it would be a tough quit. I think they could stop. You think? I, mean, I think it's pretty addictive. I ripped it every day for like probably a month. You ripped a jewel every day for a month. Yeah, I think you could. I think I could do it for a month and not get addicted. I'm not going to try. It was during like could. the the height of jewel, but I only liked it because I thought it was cool. You thought it looked cool. I, I thought it was like. Something to do. Not that it looked cool because I was like doing it in my room. Oh, you would just do it. We would out. be, yeah, we would be like playing video games and I would like. No, get I, it. I get that. It's like, it's almost like, and dipping. it was like kind of like a cool flavor. You get a head but rush. Yeah, yeah oh, but of course. When I got the head rush, that's when I felt like shit and wanted to stop. Yeah, I don't like the I'm not tobacco. Not cut out for that. I don't like the, t- the tobacco head rush. No, it's not great. It makes me a little nauseous. Now, maybe, maybe now they're, they're really going to make it, fun of us. Whatever they're gonna call this us. This kid weak. gets nauseous. We were. What do the frat kids call us? Geeds. Geeds. Goddamn Jeeds. independence. Goddamn independence. Yeah. What does, what does it mean? Because you don't do a frat. I guess so. So fraternities hate us, and uh, vapors hate us. Vapors. <laughs> hey, not, that's not a bad group of people to hate you. I feel like no, America. They probably would are the like same us. people. 
like the kids who are hating on us probably like put on the resume that they were like the fraternity like beer die champions. Sick. Yeah, they're those kind of kids. TikTokers. They're TikTok TikTokers. Kids. We're TikTokers. Come at but... us. Come at us. Yeah. If you got shit to say, call into the podcast. We'll get you on. We yeah. We let it. We leave it all out here. We're not. I'm not afraid to share my views. Like I wasn't worried. Like the more hate we got on that post, like I didn't. I'm not gonna say I love the hate, but I, I was just like, oh okay. I, I don't funny. give a fuck. It makes it interesting to read the comments because yes. we don't take it seriously. No. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm sure some kids just comment because they're just like scrolling through and they're 100%. like, fuck these guys or something. But I'm sure some people like mean it seriously. Yeah. I honestly feel worse for the ones who mean it seriously because I don't want it, like a vapor to feel bad. <laughs> Is that what we're calling of, them? Vapors? The, yeah. They're the vapors. <laughs> like there's a lot of probably nice people who vape and... Me saying I wouldn't marry someone who vapes is definitely a, a shot at them. However, you got to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's like I wouldn't marry someone who's an alcoholic either. Like you, if you like, if before you get pregnant, like those, I feel like your body, like you want to be healthy for a while before you get pregnant. You know what I mean? Not yeah. just during the pregnancy. Like you want to have a, a healthy body having kids and I, I, I as think, a father will try to be healthy. Before I think the kid. more unhealthy part is that like it could just affect your daily life. Like if you're truly addicted to it, like what if you're in a work meeting for two hours, you're just going to pull out the ju jewel and start hitting it. Like that's not going to go over. No. So I, I don't know the, if these kids are truly addicted, they're going to have a tough time in the real world. Oh yeah. You can't just leave the office for a smoke break. Like those don't exist anymore. What about when you're on a really long plane ride? I don't know. There's I definitely so people ripping jewels on planes. You just can't. No. But uh, oh, one thing I want to talk about was uh, Bill Gates got divorced. I know, which is wild. She's the one who filed for divorce. Yeah, she. I did see she filed it. She said, like you know, like unfixable damages or some shit. I read an article that he was like allowed to visit his ex girlfriend every yeah, year. Yeah, they did a trip together to North Carolina beaches every single year. That's so strange. So I read it. How did that never come out before? I guess just nobody looked into it. Well, why would anybody be looking into it? I mean, his kids must have known. So I read about it and it seems like they were way more like their relationship was way more around like their nerdy things yeah, like yeah, technology 100%. and all that than the, than like intercourse. It's still weird. Like if you told me if I bet they did, I bet they didn't like. I wouldn't Cheat. be surprised if they slept in different rooms. Yeah, it seemed very professional relationship, but it did say ex-girlfriend in the in the article I read. And it was like he asked his ex-girlfriend for permission to marry his wife. That's so fucking weird. And she was like, yes, I approve. What is she, his, her father? Like, what the fuck? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Bill Gates, is a, he seems like a weird guy. He's this definitely a little strange. Weird year for him. Everyone's like, oh, you're a pedophile. Now your wife's divorcing you. That's a tough year. People called him a pedophile? Dude, he's all about that. People, Q oh, QAnon. QAnon. QAnon think, yeah, 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 I don't think he's a pedophile. That's fake news. QAnon is fake news. QAnon, they believe some crazy shit, man. Yeah. What do you think the... I was wondering what conspiracy theorists thought about because thought about the divorce. So I actually have a conspiracy theorist on call that... I call him in because I haven't read anything about the conspiracies for this. I want to get his opinion on why Bill Gates' wife would divorce the richest man in the world. Now she's going to be one of the richest women in the world. Yeah. Who are we calling here? Conspiracy theory expert? Conspiracy theory expert. Okay. Intel with the Intel. This is Pete inside of the Subaru rally car. Hey, conspiracy theory expert. It's Steve Driscoll and Pilkey from the Steve Driscoll Show. How you doing? Oh, fantastic. Steve, Pilkey, great to hear from you What's guys. going on, Pete? Oh, not too much. Just out for a walk with my dog, listening to some classic rock, wishing I had a better relationship with my father. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Yeah, just recording the pod. You're on air. Um, we have a question. So we were just talking about Bill Gates and his wife getting divorced. You hear about that? Yeah, yo, that was crazy, right? So she filed for divorce. Why do you think she did that? Oh, did you guys not hear? Did no. you hear the full story? No. Oh, man, dude, she got the wrong vaccine. You know, Bill Gates was putting like half of the half the vaccines have this like infidelity goop in them. What does? And uh, yeah, it's uh, the vaccines have like an infidelity goop. What does it? What does it do? 
uh, yeah, dude, she just caught an infidelity bug. So it made her want to like, cheat on Bill? It made her want to have sex with other people? I guess, dude. And, and so, Why didn't like, she all just do other... it then? Why did she file for divorce? Well, I think she did, but then Bill made her file for divorce. Oh. Because, she, because he was like, all right, it must have got in the vaccine, and I know that your DNA is now switched to wanting to cheat on me all the time. Yeah, dude, and now and now it's at this DNA molecular level. Hey, I've heard dude, like, no. I've heard crazier theories than this. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know, man. I'll believe what you want, but the <laughs> mainstream media won't tell you this. Wow. Well, well thank you. Well, thank you for that. We're, uh, I, I'm, 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 we're actually. I'm, I'm not sold, I'm but not, uh, I'm not. Not Pete's been right it. a lot. Pete is right a lot of times. Okay, we'll see. So I'm not going to discount this just yet. I'm going to do my own research. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, I mean, one thing we always preach at uh, Intel with the Intel is that truth doesn't need to be sold. It's just no, you know? That's what I'm saying. Pete, I have a question. Uh, Answer, Daily Double. My girlfriend got J&J. Should I be worried? Uh, bro, uh, just out of kind of man-to-man decency, uh, Polite society requires me to say no, but like you understand the hesitation in my voice. Yeah, I hear it. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I just don't. I don't right know, now. man. I, I've uh, I've I got the J and J, but I've been in. Uh, I've been <laughs> voluntarily in celibate for the last twenty seven years. So honestly, I can't even really feel anything different. Yeah, like who, exactly. If, if if you have no one to cheat on, what, what is it? What does it even do? Are you are you even immune to the virus? I don't know, man. I I don't even think yet. That might not even work. Oh shit, yo, hey, my partner's pulling up to my parents' house. I don't know how this is going to go. I gotta call you guys. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're no, you're out of here. You're good. Thank you for the. All right, right on. All right, all right, bro. See you, Pete. Thanks. Peace. Yeah. See you. Bye. Wow, I was not expecting that. Wow. So conspiracy theory, Pete thinks that Bill Gates' wife got a vaccine that made her want to cheat on him. And he knew that so that he made her file for divorce. Well, he built some of the vaccines. Wow. Hey, po- it's possible. Hey, you never know. Crazier things have happened. Right, let's see. Uh, I got some topics to talk about. I got one thing to talk about. Yeah, bring this, it is, up. this is something we touched on on a few. I forget when a few episodes ago. Um, So when we were talking about engagement rings, we kind of said how it's unfair that Guys are forced to spend all this money on engagement rings. So an article came out today, New York Post, and it said Tiffany is now making engagement rings that guys are supposed to wear. Oh, my God. So I think there's three. I'm not sure why they're making them, but I thought of three things. One is they listen to our podcast and they agreed it wasn't fair. So now they're making the guy and the girl spend money and they get rich. Two, they're catering towards relationships with two men. Very possible. Or three, they're catering towards relationships where the guy is too big of a pussy to propose. So now the girl can do it for beta males. Which which do you think it is? I think all three, A, they obviously listen to the podcast. B, it makes sense that, you know, maybe male uh, gay couples could get rings See, I, I I don't think that they're thinking that guys are <laughs> too are too uh, too weak to propose. Probably the kids, same kids who vape. But what they're thinking is more money. That's what the fuck 100%. they're thinking. They're they're thinking like, let's see if we can fucking trick even these people into buying engagement rings for dudes. You know what? You know who they're gonna get? The girls that when it's a dude's birthday and he doesn't want to do anything, she makes him have a party. It's just like, oh, she's gonna I'm getting a ring. a ring. Oh, no, we're a couple. We're buying rings. You're going to get a ring. And she's going to fucking buy the ring. So do you think it's like you propose to a girl, you give them the ring, and then they go out and then they buy you an engagement ring and you wear it? So it's like before you're even married, people on the street know you're taken. Because it's like once you get married, you have a ring. Everybody can see a ring like they know that guy's married. He's not just wearing a wedding ring. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what an engagement ring is for, right? To show that you're taken? Yeah, it, oh, it's to claim ownership. Oh, my God. Like a Delvery from back in the day. <laughs> yeah. like when you would pay a girl's dad, like, sacks of nickels to marry Or her. cows or something. Yeah, a, a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the family, you never yeah. know. Yeah, so it's interesting. I honestly have no idea why, like, Dude, who this is going to target. That needs to stop. We need to stop. It's, dude, nip that in the bud right now. If you're watching this, 
world, no male engagement rings. I'll take male birth control before I get a male engagement Honestly, ring. I think in Sweden, it's customary that the guy also gets an engagement ring, but he gets like his wedding band when you're engaged. Okay, well, that makes a little sense to me. That's okay. Because yeah, you're not I buying an extra like one. it's like kind of almost more normal. How much is a male wedding band typically? A lot cheaper than rings. Is it like $6,000? No. No, 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 no. I Thank don't think God. Because there's no absurd. like diamonds on it or anything. I no. mean, a standard one. I'm sure that there are some that are a lot. Yeah. But like, I'm sure you could get one. Like, I feel like I always get those ads for like rubber ones. Have you ever seen those? Oh, I, I have. I've heard and of And it's those. like for like guys who like work, work in the garage or work out or do something. They're like 20 bucks. So they have so you both? Could get one of those. So they have both? I don't know. I never understood that. Because I always pictured like... A wedding band is like, there's only one. You can't have multiple. I feel like that's not a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, people will invent anything to make money these days. hundred percent, yeah. Anything to get a fucking dollar. Jesus. Just like Tiffany's. That is crazy. Oh, here's a question. Speaking of money, I guess. Um, do you think that people should tip when they get coffee? Do I think people should? Yes. Do I always? No. So I like never did and I didn't think you should, but then I thought about it in the terms of a barista kind of does a lot of what a bartender does. Yeah. Like they, uh, they're, you know, they're working a machine, they're pouring a liquid into a cup and then they're giving it to you. I think some of it is like more complicated, like making a cappuccino is harder than cracking open a, a beer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Pouring a, a regular iced coffee is easier than making some sort of cocktail. So really, you know, it's, you're going to find it on both yeah. sides. And both are going to be very busy at times and both are going to be very lax at times. So it is, there's there's a lot of parallels. A bar is definitely very customary to tip. Coffee yeah, shops, do. they have like tip jars and stuff, but I feel like people don't always. I mean, I definitely don't always. My theory as to why people don't tip as often for coffee is because... For the longest time, we were, we were going to like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, and you're not going to tip there. You never, I mean, they didn't have like the, they had a tip jar and they had like the coin things to donate money to starving kids and stuff, but they didn't like, now we got that screen that says, do you want to tip? Like Dunkin' Donuts screen doesn't have that. That makes me not want to tip. I know, but it's not their fault. It's not the person in front of you's fault. It's no, just I like some company that makes that machine for the tipping pitch them on it and everyone has it now see i got i kind of got a, a would you rather yeah give me all right for 25 million dollars oh shit every so you get 25 million dollars but every day you wake up you have to take like a little dab of the hottest hot sauce in the world oh okay so a fucking yes i would you would do it? It's probably fucking bad for you. It, it definitely goes... Like, you think so? I don't know if it's bad for I you. I would prime my stomach and be very resilient to it. Yes, I would do that in a fucking heartbeat. Every Yes. I would, I would have... So? Yeah, I would have a diet that made me very resilient to... You think you would eventually get used to it? I think you, you definitely get... You know, grow used to it, yes. I, I think it would probably always kind of hurt, though. What's the hottest hot sauce you had? The hottest hot sauce I've ever had. Have you ever had like one that was like claimed to be super hot? No, I've never done like that. Go to a wings place and uh, do a, do the challenge. Yeah, I've had the Buffalo Wild Wings one where they have a challenge, but they're not that hot. No, it's any chain. Like we that should big. get a few very hot hot sauces and try them on the podcast. We definitely should. We should get the what's the one that you tried? What is it? So I tried the last dab from the hot ones, from the sure. hot ones, which was hot, but it was tolerable. Really? That's that's some pussy shit. That show, dude. If they're going to be a show and they're going to get people, you know, sweating and all that shit. Yeah. Out, it should be like, if, if you could you eat three wings with it? So I only had like a dab. Okay. If you had a wing covered in it, I think it would be very hot. Which yeah, 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 yeah. I think is what it's like more meant for than just like a straight like pepper extract where it's like you can have like one dropper and it will like light you on fire. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? like the hottest, hottest ones. Yeah. So, yeah, if we had wings that were coated in them, I think it would be a different story. Plus, those guys are also like eating so many hot wings before that 
I feel like it's kind of like a buildup and then your mouth is already destroyed. Yeah, 100%. But great idea for a show. I don't know. I don't know if I would have the hottest hot sauce every morning. 25 mil? Fuck yeah, I'm doing that. It could fuck your day up every single day. You I, wouldn't need to drink coffee. I would get it down to a science. We should try it for like, you should do it for like two weeks. <laughs> See, like that, it might be bad for you, bro. I, I would like, so I've, I've been looking into like acidity and alkaline diets and stuff. Like you would have to eat a lot of other things to counteract that. Why? What do you think in it? That's bad. I think it's just, it could burn through your stomach. Like it's, it's intense. Dude, the hottest one I imagine is very fucking hot. Like I, I you you see like those little bushes with like peppers on it, like a little red pepper. Yeah. You squeeze that thing on your fingers. It's, it burns at your fingers. It hurts. Like, and if you like touch your nose, you can't get it off for a long time. There, there, it's really hot. I, I have a, I have a food hypothetical for you too. Shoot. All right. You get $1 million but you can never have pizza again for the rest of your life. Nope. No fucking way. No calzones, no pizza, no bagel bites. A hundred percent no. You wouldn't do it? No. I think I would do it. I love pizza more than anything. Pizza's my favorite food. A million dollars. You give me a million dollars right now? Throw that I would some fucking pay, dick I would go into debt to eat pizza. I love pizza. So do I. A million dollars. What do you love more? What do you love more? Pizza or financial freedom? <laughs> pizza. You're, you're, dude. There you go. I mean, hey, dude, it's a I, tough question. That's not it easy. Is. You're not wrong. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're saying you're wrong. You still got like, it's not change your life money. Well, I mean, in some way it is. You know what I mean? It is. It is. Like you got to still work though. I, yeah, 100%. But um, it gives you a lot of. A lot, lot of uh, freedom. Pizza, man. No pizza for the rest of your life, but you get a million bucks. You know what would be, would be cool if, like, say these hypotheticals were real, but, like, nothing was stopping you from eating pizza. So if you, like, took a bite by mistake, like, a million dollars is gone from your bank account. <laughs> See, like, that that's a term and condition I would, I would need to work out. Like, yes, in this case, something is preventing you from even having it. It would probably be worth it anyway, because at least you would, I mean, if you put it in the market, hopefully you're making money on it. God forbid you were losing money and then you oh, took a bite. No, that's a good point. If you're, uh, if you like invest it and make a shit ton of money and then you're like, you know what? I already got my, I got 300K off of this million. I can yeah. give this million back to eat pizza though. Fuck that. I think it would have to be that. That along yeah. with all the money but, you made. But I feel like that's this hypothetical is like there's none of that shit. It's like yeah. you can that you can just never have it again. You agree to this that you never have it again. But I think the hardest thing is like saying you won't have it is easy. The act of doing it is the hard part. Someone oh, yeah. like I order a fresh pizza and it's right in your face and you want it and you're just like, I can't. Dude, if I make a million if I get a million bucks, I'm you're never gonna be eating my face. What does that mean? It means... You're kicking me out. I'm eating at a restaurant by myself every day. Yeah, but you're still going to be here when I order the pizza. <laughs> That's true. That's true. No, you know what? I, like, would, I think that I would, would be do the it. hardest It's part. tough, but I would do it. That's a sacrifice. You're sacrificing a lot for a million bucks, but yeah. like... Because it, it's like if you never knew what pizza tasted like, it's like that could just be stripped from your brain and someone gives you a million dollars. Yeah, I would fucking do that. I also think if you went a few years without having pizza... Like you might miss it at times, but I feel like, dude, people are creatures of habit. You're going to find a new food that you just like fucking love. Yeah, it would probably be like cheesesteaks and that's not very good for me. Yeah, yeah, but you got a million bucks. If I didn't live in, so New Jersey, <laughs> New Jersey was just voted number one pizza state in the US and wow. we were just hyping New Jersey up Yeah, and people were shitting on us. So fuck you guys. Yeah. We're the best pizza state. Fuck Better all than New, New York. Jersey haters. Better New York was three, I think. Connecticut was two. The my favorite pizza place I've been to is in Connecticut. Actually, the top three, to be honest. In New Haven. So New Haven ones are really good. They're, those are probably the best, but I had them less frequently than the one. There's this one in Farmington called Naples. It's just a great. It's so fucking good. It's so good, and it's like a little different than the pizza here. What kind of pizza is it? Napoleon, Napoleon or some shit. I don't know. It's from. It's called Naples, so yeah. I think it's whatever they Neapolitan. make there. Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah, 
But um, yeah, I think that they make a variety of pizzas. They have they have it all. But uh, New Jersey has very good pizza. Yeah. So the best place or one of the top places is in Jersey City. I think it's called like Raza's. I've heard of it. Yeah. I yeah, never yeah, tried yeah. it, but we should. We should, go. Do, we should do that. It's it's like gourmet looking pizza, which is good though. But yeah, but it's like a big pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go. Well, yeah, we should get that. New York City, very overrated pizza. They have good spots, but there's so many pizza spots that the majority of them are very average. And if one's really good, it's like expensive. Prince Street, Joe's, John's. Those are good. Those are good. Uh, Scars, Lower East Side. Never heard of that one. Very underrated. They mill their own flour in the basement. They mill their own flour? Yeah. What does milling mean? They like take like the grain and turn it into flour. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's probably healthier then. It is. The grains that we have that are made in America are less healthy than the grains made in Italy. Because, that, yes, and that I think that's what this guy based his pizza off of. Yeah, that's he why he was like, "Why yeah. does pizza have to be unhealthy?" And it was because of the flour in America. So he's like, "Fuck it, I'm going to make my own." Yeah, we like mass produce our grains for like you know more production, more money. Yeah. While over there, like they, it takes longer. There, it's a different plant. It takes longer and it's smaller, so you know less. There's less product. Yeah. So I think this guy started milling his own for every pizza, and then they became so popular. Um, that he like couldn't keep up with it. It was just like, so he found this farm in like upstate New York that follows like the same procedures that he did. I'm sure he could do that. And now he gets flour from them. Plus he still mills his own and he puts some of that in. So it's like a mix. What is, what was the place called? Scars. We should go there. It's fucking great. Yeah. Wow. I will Very like kind of underrated and hidden. Like you go there, there's, there might be a line out the door, but it might be like five people because the place is small. But it's never like you're waiting like 20 minutes for a yeah, pizza. Yeah, that's great, dude. Yeah, I, yeah, I will definitely go great. there. Wow. Would you uh, never watch sports again? You can never watch sports again. You get $10 million. So I can't go to a game live. I can't watch like the World Series, the Super Bowl, like NBA Finals, 10 mil. I think I would do that. I'm not a huge sports fan as it is. Yeah. So. I am, and I think I would do it. It's a lot of money. You just let let go of that part of your life. You get 10 million bucks. You're set for life. Let go of sports fandom. It would be like a few days a year would really suck, like especially the Super Bowl. But that would just become a day that like you knew everybody else was busy and you could just like do your own thing. Yeah. You just do your own thing. Because you got 10 mil. You got 10 mil. Because you're, you're, if I got 10 mil, I'm trying to make moves, you know? Yeah, trying to make trying to make money moves and fuck it. I have to work on the day of the Super Bowl, but I can't watch it anyway. It would probably free up a lot of your time. Yeah, it would free up some of my. Well, I a lot of times I'm watching sports is during my free time. I'm never like not doing something when I'm busy to watch sports. Rarely, rarely. But it, yeah. it just like a lot of people waste time on being a sports fan of like oh like my team like I, I did that shit as a kid. Over the last few years, like it would have to be a really big Celtics game for me to to be really like involved, or it might affect my mood or something. Yeah, you know what I mean, but like if they lose know. a random game, or it's not the end of no, the world. You've seen it. You, yeah. they lose all the fucking time this year. What do you think the world would be like if like social media had like hours it was open? So oh it was like my God. nine to like six or seven. A better place. You could go on social media and then seven o'clock, it just shuts down. A better place. You can't access it. You can't, nobody can view anything. Oh, that'd be amazing. You think that is a possibility? I think it could be like the future. I feel like uh, whenever like a freedom like that is uh, like someone tries to take it, it's it's a no-go. Plus, you know how much money businesses would lose? A lot of so advertising. You're like You're just cutting off... Yeah, but the advertising all goes to Instagram. Like yeah. maybe the creators, but fuck them. No, but like brands are advertising, media companies are paying for those ads. And social media comp- technology companies like Facebook and fucking, what does Steve Ballmer do? Microsoft. Yeah. They run the world. I mean, they, they, they're, they're, they're making the laws. They're not going to make so That would never happen. That would be amazing. It would be amazing though. That would be great. We should just have a pact as humans. For like one week, we, nobody uses social media. Like a social media curfew? Yeah, or something like that. Like when the Great Depression was happening and we did that, uh, FDR closed the banks for the day. He made it, he closed yeah. all the banks. 
I was thinking that, dude, when like during the Capitol riots and shit, we should fucking shut down social media for a little bit and let everyone just fucking settle down and realize that a lot of this is just being pumped and it's not as big of a deal as we think. But if you just shut off social media, people be freaking out because like shit could be going down and people's elsewhere would not be able to be informed. So I did think of that. Yeah. But we but, as a country could use was, a fucking break. That was once the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. people would get mad, but they would be in their house. They weren't like mad. And then they're like, oh, there's a million other people who believe this exact yeah, same thing yeah, that yeah. I do. We're going to go rally together. Yeah. And this person threw this other angle in. Yeah. And even though that's a stretch, but like. I think it would be good. I, I think we, I think as a country, we could, we would do great with it. Like media what ideas. if we just did like summer Fridays at work, but social media? Yeah. It was like. In every, the summer. Yeah. Just fucking get off it. Every Friday, like social media stops at noon. And everybody just fucking enjoys themselves. That'd be fucking great. You call your friends, you go out, hang out, go to the park, drink beers, whatever you do. Play football. Vape. Hey. You can vape. You can vape. We don't hate vapors. You could buy jewels. Jewels are still available. You could do that. You don't need to I think it would be amazing. That is a great idea. I might do it myself. Let's start a movement. Yeah, let's start. Social media lists summer. Whole summer? No, no, no. Fridays. Fridays, yeah. Fridays into the weekend. Yeah. You hop on Sunday afternoon. Down. Social media list. You heard it here first. We're, we're starting a movement. Social media list summer. And, but it's How not the whole How can summer. we like kind of control it? Through TikTok. Through social media. We, we every, every weekend we have someone else. Getting it's just based on trust, which I think is like the, the ultimate form of like, I mean, I'm not going to be accountability. No, if someone says they're a follower of it, it's up to them to do it. They're the ones not getting the, it's like when you're working out and they're like, you're only cheating yourself. They're only cheating themselves. I don't give yeah. a fuck if they do it as I want to become a but movement. If I'm hanging out with people and they're on social media during social media blackout period, I'd be pissed. They're geeds, bro. They're probably not going to be my friends, but they're not part of the movement. Then it's like, it's not like, yeah. it's not like if we're, you know, it's not if, if we're, we see strangers who aren't part of the movement. I'm not going to be like trying to convert them into our movement. That's true. But on TikTok, we're like the Hasidic Jews. We don't try to convert anybody. They don't try to convert. No. Yeah. Why, why, why try to convert people? Keep a small if circle. If you believe in it, you'll come around. Yeah. Keep a small circle. If, if your shit's that great, let them come if they want to. Some people feel like social media blackouts probably take away their freedom of speech. That's what I'm saying. Which is why they wouldn't participate. So it needs ridiculous. to be a willing. It needs to like, be a movement. Who the fuck gave you a voice? Who gave us a voice? You know who Social gave us a voice? Social media gave us a voice. Steve Driscoll. Dude, when it started talking, I was like, wait, am I talking already? <laughs> you know Pookies. you know who will love voices. it? Our, uh, our haters. Because they don't have to fucking deal with us for That's the true. full weekend. They should, yo, if you're our hater, you should definitely join our social media. Yeah, summer if movement. you support it. You should post about it, and then you won't fucking hear from us all weekend. Yeah. Social media to list summer 2021. There we go. All right. Here's a fun question. I, I um, If you were an MLB player, what would your walk-up song be? Probably Who Let the Dogs Out Who, by the Baja Men. Who Let the Dogs I Out? I think that song, it used to be like our football team in fourth grade. It was like the town song Yeah, when it was popular. And I... I just think that's the, the best song. Do you want to know how it would sound as a, as a let's walkout hear it, song? Let's hear it. Because the first few seconds is really all you hear. Now batting for the American League from the New York Yankees, the shortstop. Okay. That would be fucking amazing. That's a pretty lit one. That's a pretty good walk-up song. Mine would be, and I want it to play through my entire at-bat. That's what I wish it did. I don't want it to stop. My walk up song would be um this would like this would this is what I would actually try to do. Liquid means rewind, a gunshot means forward. Now batting for the American League from the New York Yankees. The yeah. first stop. Number two. That would sound kinda cool. That'd be sick. That'd be a fun walk up song. That's pretty cool, right? I but, would just I just picture like the coach in like little league like telling all the outfielders to move yeah, back. Yeah. Dude, like oh, if I was an MLB player, my walk-up song would be a big I, I would like change it all the time. I would fuck with them. 
I would fuck with the pitcher. Just uh, your own remix. Like some days you go hard like that, and some days you you throw on some shit Do like you, like this. Like so open up your mind and <laughs> now back in for the American League from the New York Yankees. You know what I mean? You just, that would almost be more intimidating. Exactly. It's like what's going through this kid's head. You got to go with all all the choices. Oh my gosh. You got to Yeah. Well, who do you think has like the the best walkout song? Like do you have uh, any off the top of your head? I have one. Uh I I only, the only one I know is that guy who does Baby Shark. I think pitcher uh like closer walkout songs oh, like yeah. Enter Sandman for uh, Mariano is fucking just like That's the only one I know. Yeah. Yeah. What how does Enter Sandman go? I was because I was looking them up. Like you hear that as an opponent, and you're just like, "Fuck!" Like I, I lost. I remember Hell's Bells was like uh, some. Hell's Bells is good. This was Marion Rivera's song. Yeah, dude, it was. Now batting for the American League. And you just see him open He's out. He's walking out. Oh. He would kind of wait for it to like build up. Oh yeah. Now he's coming out. Oh, That's gotta be the best feeling. So as a closer, sick. just fucking running out so from the outfield. Sick. Oh my gosh! Uh, hey, if I was a MLB player, like my ideal situation, pitcher, closer, fuck yeah. So you just want to be Mariano Rivera? You get to play every game, basically. Yeah. Unless they don't need you. But every situation you go into is high pressure. Love it. Love it. I think I would pitch better under pressure then. I think I would too. 100%. You have two innings. I'm just going to fucking throw my arm out. <laughs> yeah. Until it's going bad. When it's going bad and you're under pressure, then you're fucked. But if you're coming in and everyone's like, this he is He only the guy. had like two pitches. The splitter and the fastball. That's it. That's all he needed. Dude, I'm telling you, as a Red Sox fan. Unanimous Hall of Famer. It was like game over unless... We had Ortiz and Manny up, which, you know, in the playoffs, yeah. we got on with the lower guys in the lineup because uh, I think Bill Miller hit him in. Oh, my God, bro. Yankees, Red Sox used to be the best thing in the world. The best. And there's nothing that took its place. I just want both of those teams to be like the, at the top of their division again. They, well, I hate years the ago, Red Sox. Yeah, they were. But but baseball is just not where it was. Seeing that battle. Yeah. I agree. Baseball has gone downhill. It's become less popular. That whole year, bro. Like leading up to it, it's like Yankees in 03 beat them on a walk off. 04, uh, they fucking A Rod gets in a fight with Varitek. Walk off games, crazy fucking games. Jeter dives into the stands and breaks his face. Playoffs, seven games. Dude, it's like there's nothing been in sports come close to that since. Everybody was involved. Like the Patriots come back. 28-3 was great, but like not, it doesn't, no. Honestly, now Giants, we, we Patriots see the Falcons, dude, that was, the Giants beating the undefeated Patriots is probably the most exciting football thing to happen. Do you think it's only because it's like New York, Boston, and like we live in the area? I think it was because the Patriots were the team that everyone hated and they're undefeated. Tom Brady. Like, I wonder if some more likable team was undefeated and it was vice versa and the Patriots were like 11-5. and five. Would, te- would teams wanted the Patriots to lose that? I think it was because the Patriots were so hated. If yeah. it was like Pat Pat Mahomes or something, like I think people would, it would be a big deal, but it wouldn't be close to what it was. People would almost be like, it's like a fluky undefeated season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like everybody going into that pretty much thought the Giants had no chance. I know, man. I made a bet with my friend Darnell that year. After a few weeks, because I was just like, the Patriots are the best team. I was like, they go undefeated. You gave me 40 bucks. If they don't, I buy you lunch for a week. I, I, I did, I, 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 the odds from a bookie would have been amazing, <laughs> but I, I gave this kid, and they, and they fuck it, and he was a Giants fan, and they fucking lost. If you bet undefeated season on a book, is it just like regular season, or does it include playoffs? It'll say. I think it's regular season. I don't know. There's probably both options. Yeah, I'm sure you can pick either. That's, I think it, that's got to be crazy odds. If you yeah. bet that beginning of the year undefeated season, like yeah. that never happened. Especially if it's a team that wasn't the, you know, you know, Any say, like, team. say like next year it was like the Steelers who did it. You know, a team that not. I would won. take that bet from anybody. Yeah. I. However, I do think an, a team, an NFL team, will go undefeated in the next ten years. Definitely. It's possible, yeah. I just think, I I just think it's possible for sure. 
Did you see this article about this lady who um, she was pregnant and she was supposed to have like, I don't even know what's called septuplets, seven kids. Sheesh. She had nine when she gave birth. Oh. Two extra ones were just hiding in there. No idea. Oh my God. Nine fucking kids. What do you think? Like I, that would fuck your life up. How do you pay for all that? You don't. You try to have one kid and you have nine of them. Do you give any up for adoption? No, you can't. You can't. It's cruel. I don't even know what you would do. That would just bankrupt you. Would you rather have nine tuplets or never have kids ever? Like just randomly you have nine tuplets? It's like your first go around, you have nine kids or you never have kids ever. Can I adopt kids? No. Uh, No. Probably never have kids, honestly. I would never I don't, have kids. I don't want nine kids. That's nine? way too many. How I much, can't afford that. How much money do you need to have nine kids and like live pretty well? Say you want to send those kids to college. Yeah. Oh, no. They're getting loans. Like that's they would nine have kids, to. dude. Say college was $10,000 a year. Still 90 grand. It's 360000 90 grand a year times 40. 360K. But dude, it's not 10K a year. No, it's going to be like 40. 90K a year per kid. Oh, I would I would rather not have non-tuplets. Would you rather have a kid this second or never have kids at all? Never have kids. Really? Yes. Same would I. Dude, dude I, kids are a huge responsibility. Huge. You have to like, that has to be planned. You have to be like, I want to have kids right now. I don't think I could afford a kid right now. You could make it work. I'm not, I, and I'm not saying that from me knowing anything about your finances or anything. Yeah. I'm just saying like, I know you, I know that like, if you had a kid, I would not be that, I wouldn't be that worried about the kid. But I would, I but the thing is, it's like, I, I want to have fun. I want to go on trips. Like I would not be able to do any of that. No. And you want to be able to save up more money. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fuck yeah. I don't want to have a kid right now. Kids are fucking expensive. I don't know how people afford them. You got one life to live. I don't want to live it for a kid that doesn't even exist yet. I want to, I want to live it for me who I am right now. And you know, not yeah, selfish yeah. to be like out of my way, everyone, but like why tie myself down to something I don't necessarily want right now? I just also don't trust myself. <laughs> oh, I, I'd be a great dad. I just, if it came down to it, but it's like, I don't want to be that serious. No, I don't want to do it right now. I want to smoke jewel, you know, I want to vape. Vape. I want to vape with my bros. Blow clouds. Have a great time. I just want to puff some clouds and have a good time. I don't want kids. Yeah, kids are tough, but I mean, they're worth it. Oh, when the time's right. Yeah. I, I will probably, mom and dad, don't worry. I'll probably have kids. Relax. You think they're going to call you up after this and scream at you? No. If I, though they, I don't know. No, they don't know. They will never scream <laughs> at me. They'll never scream at me. But they might be like, I don't like in six months. They might be like, I don't know. On this podcast, he did say he didn't want kids. <laughs> You're not getting a like on this one. I don't. I don't. Even, I don't know if they if they smash the like button. Do we still have that random commenter on our YouTube videos? I haven't checked. Who did he? Yeah, he hasn't been back. I also haven't posted to YouTube in a little bit. He's a wild man. I when I first got on TikTok, they put me in like conspiracy TikTok, like right off the bat. I must have watched one, and I was like. Boom, they sent me all conspiracies. That's wild how it does that. And one, and then I, I got back on TikTok. Or no, one day it just fucking stopped. It was not conspiracies anymore. Maybe because I, you know, I must have just been scrolling through them. Yeah, like the birds aren't real ones. Amazing. People, people who think birds aren't real, like we eat chickens. Get a fucking grip. People, people catch pigeons and kill. You ever see roadkill of a bird? There's no camera in there. You're falling into the trap. Now, if you told me that there were some birds that were machines by the government, I, I'd be like, okay. That's they're drones maybe. spying on us. But they're not spying on us. They're yes, protecting they us. From what? From people who are trying to fucking do some shit. Yo, my no, brother. I don't know if my spying. brother remembers this. One of my brothers. I don't not know if he remembers this, but he told me. Are we going to drop his name? Uh, Kyle? One of my brothers. It's not my brother's <laughs> name. He knows that. Uh, one of my brothers told me that he was waiting for the train or a bus one day and out of nowhere, guys in a van showed up in suits and took a woman and put her in the back of the van and it was acting like nothing happened. I believe it. Maybe a bird, one of the fake birds, like lasered in on her and she had something on her and they and she was a problem. Social experiment. I like if if you if they told me that the government had fake birds and they were like, uh, what's the word? Like hovering around, surveilling. Sur 
If you told me that the government had fake birds doing surveillance, like in New York City, I wouldn't be creeped out. I'd be like, good. Because what, what if there's a, what if it, what if it knows things? It's not like they're looking at me. Like, I don't, the people, no, but people the are so is, fucking paranoid about the government. Like, oh, they're watching me jerk off. It's like, no, they're not. It's, I think it comes down to that we as humans deserve privacy. Like, that's a right of ours. I agree. I think we do. But at the same time, I don't know if they're really invading it individual privacies it's we if can't they're let watching them, me 24 7 yes they are they're not watching you 24 7 if they have fake birds they're 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 surveilling the area and making sure that no shit's going down maybe those birds have sensors in them that can like sense dangerous materials listen all i know is if i was had a camera outside a police station 24 7 they would not be happy no because they'd be like, why because it's fucking weird but there's they you're I'm not doing anything it's wrong. a little more specific no you're technically not I mean it, no but they, they're not like it's they're just surveilling an area in this so scenario. am I that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing but what who are you protecting the cops I'm protecting myself from those <laughs> crooked cops <laughs> just kidding Oh my god! I'm just protecting people in the area. No, I, God I, forbid there's a crime there. I want to have record. I want to see how quickly yeah. the cops got to the crime. No, I, I get the resistance to like the surveillance and stuff because if we do let the government like cross a line, then it's like then we lost all our freedom. Like then they yeah. can. But if it's just like the fake birds thing and like that's all they're doing, I'd be just the fake birds. If, if all they had was fake birds and they're surveilling us, I'd be like, fuck it. They're probably people, stopping crime. People think Bitcoin was created by the government. For what? To get a new wealth? No, because I think what does that mean, it I tracks see. everything. Like every transaction is tracked in the blockchain. So hey. like it's another way for them to like monitor shit. But then they hate but then they hate Bitcoin. They want you to think exactly. That. It's a, that's by them the, saying they hate it. More people buy it. They're falling into their trap. Exactly. Conspiracy theorists will f find any reason. Like, no, no, no. They want you to think that. It's like okay. So then, what the fuck do they want me to think that Tom Hanks fucked a kid or some shit? They don't want you to think that because it's I, not true. <laughs> no, that shit I don't believe. But no. the whole surveillance. I don't think. I mean, they no, have cameras. Everywhere I don't think anyway. birds are fake. I don't think that at all. Yeah. I don't think birds are real. No, I think they're an in-between thing. Some are fake, some are real. It's like they're fake real. They're replica. They're replicas. You know the <laughs> the fastest flying bird in the world lives in New York City? Yeah, I did know that. That's wild. Some yeah. type of vulture, I think. And it catches mice. It's uh it's like a peregrine or some shit. It's called a peregrine. That sounds about right. Yeah. The peregrine eagle? That might be it. Yeah, I once said that. I was like, oh, the fastest birds in New York City. And someone was like, no, it's not. It's the peregrine eagle. And I was like, yeah, dude, that's the fucking bird that I'm yeah, talking like about. Yeah, it sits on top of buildings. Yeah. And, and I forget how fast it dies. It nose dies. Like almost 200 miles an hour. Have Could you be seen way off. I think that's 170-ish. Something crazy. I feel like that's yeah. right. Have you seen videos of seagulls diving into the ocean after fish? Yeah. Dude, they go deep. Like really deep. Swim underwater. They go, they go like really far. You wouldn't, I did not think that. Apparently, if you like... If seagulls are following you and you throw them like hot peppers, they like eat them and then they just like crash into the ocean. Oh my God. Because they like, it's too hot for them. I bet. They <laughs> probably wouldn't do that hot sauce challenge. No, for 20, they don't know how to spend $25 million. No. Apparently if you feed a seagull uh, Alka-Seltzer, if they blow up. That's fucked. I wouldn't do that. They recover from the, from the peppers, I think. I'm sure. Have you ever had a bird attack you? Um... Someone knocking on the door. Hello? Hey, what's up? You're good. You're good. We're, we're about to wrap up anyway. Yeah. We're doing good. Um, I don't think I've had... I've had like a turkey like try to chase me. <laughs> and I kind of get nervous. Yeah, I don't, I don't like... Yeah, I don't fuck with birds. What's the bird uh, with the feathers peacock? Oh, they fuck you up. I had a peacock like staring me down Where with. the fuck did you see a peacock? I was at a farm. Uh, and they, ha they have like a peacock collection. <laughs> Dude, I've had birds attack, dive, nosedive at my head before. Birds are scary. Multiple Even like times. small ones that just fly around you. I like duck. I'm like, oh. oh no, I don't. I don't mess with birds. Little birds on the street, they're really they dodge you. They, I'm not worried about yeah. them. Pigeons in cool. New York City are ruthless. Like they don't give a fuck about people. No, why would they? They're not moving though. No, like I you could oh, you really? could pick one. Like yeah, you could probably just reach down and pick one up. Really? 
I feel like some of them. Move. I make bird noises at birds. I'll be sometimes they move, but they're just like being courteous. They take a few steps out of your way. They're oh, not like sorry. flying away. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know why I just thought of this, but do you think we can get Bagel Boss on the podcast? I bet we could. I bet you we could. He probably tries to squeeze money out of us. Yeah, we'll throw him. him. Uh, what would we give him? I'd give him three hundred bucks. Yo, Bagel Boss, I'll give you three hundred bucks to come on the podcast. Three hundo. Heard it here first. You heard it? Yeah, I hope so. I bet you he would do that. Imagine someone else, he heard it somewhere else first. Would he call in or would he need him physically no, here? physically here. We have to pay for his transportation too. I'd, I'd Uber him out from Long Island. I'll pick him up. Yeah, yeah we'll pick, pick him, up. him up. Yeah, we'll pick him up. <laughs> Imagine that car ride. We'll get bagels too. We'll bring bagels. We'd have to. Car. He'd probably freak out, but oh my God. I Take think he freaked out on the 7-Eleven guy, yeah. Bagel boss. Dude, that guy. He kind of just fell off. Like, I mean, what was going to happen? He was supposed to fight in like rough and rowdy, I think. Was, I don't know if he ever he did. He was supposed to fight. I think he was supposed to fight the Hydra Kids, Hydra Wife guy. Tyrone, not, uh, I forget his name. The fact that that somehow got set up is like amazing. Dude, that was, maybe that's what inspired Jake Paul to start this shit. No, nah, the other yeah. shit. He, he did the, his fights first. or Logan did. Yikes. Hydra Kids, Hydra Wife. Damn, should we wrap that up? Let's wrap. I think that was a good episode. Damn, bagel boss. Well, let's let's uh, what's the word? Manifest. Let's yeah. manifest it right now. Let's make that happen. So, in, in order to manifest, what you need to do is uh, I'll actually put on manifestation music for this shit. We well, can you, probably reach out to him. Definitely. It's. I mean, it's happening. It's already. Uh, it's in the pipeline. In order to manifest, what you need to do is you need to physically put yourself in a space. Where it's already happened. Bagel Boss is already on. He's here. He's already on our podcast. He's here. We already know what it feels like to have had him on our podcast. It was great. Amazing. Bagel Boss crushed it on our podcast. Bagel Boss. All right, Bagel Boss. Hey, Bagel Boss, thanks for coming. Because that's thank what we you. would say. Would we thank him? For I feel coming? like he's like an angry guy. He'd probably get pissed at us. Probably vapes. Pissed in a good way. All right. Well, that's our maybe at the end of each episode we manifest something about our future. About Bagel Boss. No, not about Bagel Boss, but about <laughs> what did we you want type to in to, to get that music? Uh meditation music. Uh. <laughs> All right. We out of here? We're out. All right, thank you guys. Hopefully you'll see us on YouTube. I think you will. All right. Bye guys. Later. Yeah. I know. You're oh, a jerk. baby. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. I thought that was good. You're a jerk. That was great. You're a jerk. Right? I feel that. You're a jerk. I feel that. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Felt a lot more natural. You're a jerk. Natural, but also like broken up. Without like it all just being mixed into one lob. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Someone, um, what's your role?